out beyond the eight planets that you already know. There are many more solar systems to explore, and we should go. Different stars that have their own planets and their own solar systems. Would you like to go with me and see if we can meet some? Kepler 16b, also known unofficially as Capduine. Life in Star Wars, a planet that orbits not one but two stars. My orbit is circumbinary. That means I travel around both stars instead of only one. And you would see two sunsets on me when the day is done. OGLE 2005 BLG 390LB. My nickname is Hot, like the ice world in Star Wars. I'm icy and rocky. I'm so cold that even my atmospheric gases freeze, adding to my snowy surface. I'm too cold for life to survive on me, so I orbit my cool red dwarf star quietly in the constellation Scorpion. If you are a Star Trek fan, then you will definitely be a fan of me. Unofficially known as Vulcan, I was discovered where Star Trek predicted Vulcan to be. I orbit an orange star in a triple star system named 40 Eridani A. Only about 16 light years from Earth, I'm 40 Eridani AB. Come visit me someday. My name is Okuzala, one of the oldest planets known yet. I'm about 12.7 billion years old, almost three times older than your planet. I have a circumbinary orbit around two burnt out stars. A very old white dwarf star and a neutron star pulsar. We're zombie planets orbiting around a neutron star known as the Lish Pulsar. The creepy sexual planets found, yet our names are Poltergeist, Dragor, and Hobitor. Our rapidly rotating pulsating star consumes us with endless radiation we cannot fight. It pulses down on us like a lighthouse beacon and lights up our skies with auroras like the northern lights. I am 51 Pegasi B, also known as Dominium. I was the first exoplanet found orbiting a star much like your sun. I'm about half the mass of Jupiter but with a larger diameter. My orbit takes only about four days because I'm very close to my star. They call me Osiris, HD 209458B. I'm an evaporating gas giant. Soon just a core is all that will be left of me. My atmosphere has hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen that are all evaporating away. Orbiting close to a yellow star like your sun, my hydrogen tail creates quite a display. I'm under so much pressure and high temperatures. I'm 55 Cancri E. Beneath my molten lava surface could be a precious diamond because I have such high density. I also have lots of silicates in my atmosphere reflecting light making my sky sparkly. And through my sparkly sky you would see my sibling planet Galileo watching over me. I defy the laws of physics with my burning ice. I'm Gleesa 436b. I have a scorching hot surface because I'm 15 times closer to my sun than Mercury. Oddly, my surface is mostly ice, but it's on fire! How could that be? My gravity is so strong that it compresses any water vapor back into ice on me. One of the largest known exoplanets, a super Jupiter, I'm GQ Ruby B. I'm young and have a circumplanetary disk all around me. Also known as a moon-forming disk, this is exciting to see. Because this is where the birth of new moons happens. They'll form and then orbit me. Beautiful Asher Blue, HD 189733B. But don't let my appearance fool you. There is nothing calm about me. My atmosphere is filled with particles of glass. My wind speeds are extremely fast. Blowing faster than the speed of sound. I have storms of sideways raining glass swirling all around. I'm darker than night. I absorb the light. I'm T-R-E-S-2-B. I'm a gas giant planet a little bigger than Jupiter, but I'm definitely not jolly. Darker than coal with an eerie red glow, I can be a little bit scary. Consumed by heat and darkness, you'll never know the secrets that I carry. An exciting...
exotic exoplanet, I'm Hat P7B. I have very different weather from yours, especially when it rains on me. Instead of raindrops, you would see showers of sapphires and rubies. I have clouds of corundum that could make those jewels scientists believe. I'm exoplanet wasp 12B, and I'm a very strange sight to see. I'm all stretched out like a football because my star is pulling on me. That's because I'm so close to my star, it takes just over one day to orbit. I'm one of the darkest exoplanets because I eat up light. I absorb it. My name is C-O-R-O-T-7-B, and I'm bad to the bone. I've been mistaken for the underworld, so you definitely wouldn't want to call me home. I'm close to my star when orbit only takes 20 hours. My surface is covered in volcanoes and lava, not flowers. The sky literally falls on me as I rain down rocks you see. A real nightmare it would be if you lived on me. I'm a tightly locked hot Jupiter gas giant named Wasp-17b. I only take 3.7 days to orbit my star, and I orbit backward during retrograde, you see? Much larger than Jupiter, but only half the mass, I'm extremely puffy. Not only made up of hydrogen and helium gas, but I also have nano quartz crystals on me. My full name would take forever to say, so call me Simp. I'm bizarre. I'm all alone, roaming the Milky Way. I'm a rogue planet without a star. I'm massive like my name and very hot, which is strange because I have no star to provide the heat. My magnetic field is four million times stronger than Earth's. I have stunning auroras and a possible exomoon to me. PSRJ1719-1438B I have a really long name, but that's not all that's special about me. I orbit an actual millisecond pulsar, a super fast spinning neutron star. And I'm so incredibly dense, I'm probably made of crystalline carbon, the giant diamond. How bizarre. When my star expanded to a red giant, it almost vaporized me. A sub dwarf star now, I'm much closer to my star than other planets would dare to be. I'm super fast, a less than six hour orbit, I'm so close that it's fun! Hotter than hot, I'm Kepler 70B, and I'm probably hotter than your sun. I'm the exoplanet J1407B. Also known as Super Saturn, but Saturn's got nothing on me. I have one of the largest known ring systems found in the galaxy. About 200 times as large as Saturn's, I'm the new Lord of the Rings. I'm PH1 or Kepler 64b. I have not one star or two or three, a quadruple star system. I'm in an orbit that is called circumbinary. Every 137 days I orbit a binary star, but that's not all there is to see. 900 AU from me is another binary star in orbit around my double star and me. A glamorous exoplanet. I'm GJ504B. What can I say? I love pink. It's the color that looks best on me. I'm an extremely hot gas giant planet. I'm four times more massive than Jupiter. My incredibly intense heat causes me to glow pink, or magenta, if you prefer. 1.8 days to orbit my star, a hot Jupiter gas giant, that's me. One side always day, one side always night, I'm a tightly locked planet named Wasp-76B. My hot temperatures on my day side are so extreme that they vaporize iron in my atmosphere. But when the vapor reaches my night side, it cools and rains fiery iron down on this sphere. I'm Exoplanet HD 100546B, a super Jupiter gas giant planet that is one of the largest exoplanets you'll meet. I orbit a star with a circumstellar disk made up of gases, dust, and debris. The material in these disks is what forms gas giant planets, just like me. Similar to Earth in age and size, I'm Lisa 1132B. So close to my star that it ripped and stole my atmosphere away from me. During my 1.6 day orbit, my star pulls and stretches me and causes violent volcanic activity. But I'm clever, and I'm using the gases from the volcanoes to build a brand new atmosphere around me. 
We may look like Earth and the Sun, but look closer and you will see. With my yellow main sequence star, Kepler 452, I'm Kepler 452B. I'm in the habitable zone of my star and could have liquid water on me. Which means, because I'm too similar to Earth, that there could be life on me. Kepler 1625b, a gas giant that is very special, you see. Because I may have an exomoon orbiting around me. We could be a binary planet, too. But our size ratio is much like Earth and your moon. My companion's exomoon status is still waiting to be confirmed. We hope it will be soon. Closest star to your sun is Proxima Centauri. I'm an exoplanet that orbits it named Proxima Centauri B. In a triple star system with stars Alpha Centauri A and B. I'm in a habitable zone, which means there could be life on me. My name is Trappist the Star. I have seven planets of my own. All unique and special, including three in the habitable zone. Their current names are Trappist, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Hey! Together we have one of the most exciting solar systems discovered to this day. I'm hot, 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 7800 degrees, and ultra hot Jupiter, K, E, L, T, 9, B. I'm so close to my star that my surface sizzles and can be even hotter than some stars can be. I'm in a tightly locked 36-hour polar orbit around my star which looks like I'm orbiting vertically. And my vast spinning star is boiling away my atmosphere but blasting me with heat and radiation constantly. I'm a very fluffy world nicknamed Candy Floss, but I'm not sweet, I'm Wasp 107B. I have scorching temperatures, raging winds, and smell like burnt matches because of water vapor and sulfur dioxide on me. Like Earth, I cycle my clouds through gas and liquid states, but it's not water showers you will see. My clouds are made up of silicate particles that rain down sand on me. I'm T-O-I-1338N, I was a surprising discovery. I was found by a teenage intern named Wolf Suki Earth that just started work at NASA recently. I orbit both stars in my solar system, they are binary. So I experience stellar eclipses very regularly. They call me the Whiplash Planet, HR 5183B. A super Jupiter three times the size of him. I have an eccentric 74 year age shaped orb, you see. I slingshot around my star, speeding up as I get closer and slowing down as I retreat. I'm a bit of a wrecking ball because I wreak havoc on any regular orbiting planets I meet. I'm TOI700D and I'm an exciting discovery. I'm in the habitable zone of my star, which means there could be life on me. I'm a little bit bigger than the Earth and we could be very similar, they say. I could have oceans and land and friends for you to meet someday. The T O I one seven eight system, we move in almost perfect harmony. The outer five of our six planets exist in a resonance of eighteen to nine to six to four to three. This means we orbit our orange star and line up with each other very regularly. For every eighteen orbits I have, I have nine. I have six. I have four. I have three. Kepler Space Telescope found me, the smallest known exoplanet, I'm tiny, orbiting a star much like your own, my name is Kepler 37b, I'm only slightly larger than your moon, and smaller than Mercury, so close to my star, I'm hot with no atmosphere, and when orbit only takes 13 days to complete, I'm I'm a cooled companion on ultra-wide orbits, or abbreviated coconuts, to be a very cold gas giant planet about 6.3 times the mass of Jupiter, that's me. Day and night on my surface look the same because I'm 7506 AU from my star. I'm very slow. It takes me over 1.1 million years to complete just one orbit because I'm so far. I make my star walk because of my large size and gravitational effects. I'm LHS 3154. I'm a monster of a planet in a very close orbit to an extremely cool dwarf star. I'm too big for my star or it's too small for me. Either way, I shouldn't exist. How I was formed is a mystery, but my star and I still coexist.
Now you've met some exoplanets, they orbit other stars. In their very own solar systems far outside of ours. Strange and mystical worlds with wonders beyond imagination. Keep looking at the stars and maybe you'll discover one.